Hey, we are live from Midtown Manhattan with Laura Downs. Hi, thank you for being here. Laura is playing National Sawdust tonight, so she's heading to Brooklyn soon, but first she's going to play some songs for us. So tell us about the first song you're going to play. Yeah, this is off of my new album called For Many, which is a Leonard Bernstein celebration album because we're celebrating his 100th birthday this year. And um, the album is a mix of music by Bernstein. And, and new music that's written for, for him in, in memory of him. And so this is a beautiful song by Ricky Ian Gordon, who's an amazing uh, songwriter, called What Shall We Remember? Thank you. So you mentioned For Lenny, which is your Leonard Bernstein tribute album out this Friday. Um, so I'm wondering, what was the first introduction that you remember to his music, and what was it that kind of first drew you to his amazing work? Yeah. 
I saw the movie West Side Story when I was a tiny kid, and I just loved it. We watched it over and over again. Um, loved the songs and the story and the the setting. And even though you know now when I when I see the movie, it's it's so old fashioned in a way, right? But it was it was also just very um, relevant. It just seemed like very real. For our, you know, for a Hollywood musical, I grew up. I had this sort of strange upbringing. We watched a lot of really old movies. So for me, West Side Story was just an exciting window into the way that you could take music and dance and storytelling and you know tell tell a story that was real and tragic and funny and you know just so many things. So I, I guess that was my introduction, as it is for so many people. And the music, um, I've just always really loved his music. I've played a lot of his music. And then I think as time has gone by, it's a lot about who he was as a person and as an artist and as an American artist, somebody who really believed that music and art could <clears throat> inform our culture, could be an important, real, relevant, essential part of our culture, and worked so hard during his lifetime to make that a reality. You know, taught about music, shared about music over the TV and the radio and, you know, from the podium and through through his compositions. So now in this American moment that we're living right now and celebrating his 100th birthday, it just seems like a very important piece to, to focus on. Yeah. Mm. Tell us about the next song you're going to play. Which is a great example of this. Yeah, right? exactly. Um, it's called Take Care of This House. Pennsylvania Avenue 1600. Yeah, this was a show that he wrote in 76 for the Bicentennial called um, 1600 Pennsylvania yeah. Avenue. <laughs> and uh, it's about, this is a song that's about the White House. Take care of this house. Um, you know, with the White House as a symbol for take care of us, take care of our ideals, our, our beliefs. Um, yeah, what we're meant to be doing here. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a... Uh, it's an interesting moment to be revisiting it. Take care of this house Keep it from harm If bandits break in Sound the alarm Care for this house Shine it by hand And keep it so clean The glow can be seen All over the land Be careful at night Lock all the doors If someone makes off with a dream The dream will be yours Care for this house be always on call For this house is the home of us all Take care of this house Keep it from harm if bandits break in, sound the alarm Care for this house Shine it by hand And keep it so clean The glow can be seen All over the land Be careful at night Lock all the doors if someone makes off with a dream, the dream will be yours. Take care of this house, be always uncalled. Care for this house, it's the hope of us all. So you've paid tribute to a lot of great artists throughout your career. 
uh, Billie Holiday. You released a Billie, a Billie Holiday songbook a few years back. Mm-hmm. Um, you've covered Nina Simone, now Leonard Bernstein. So I'm wondering, what do you think is the kind of common thread, if there is any, that makes these artists so iconic and special and kind of last in our American history? Well, they were all badass. That's the first thing that comes to mind. You know, as was Beethoven, right? I think that I'm drawn to artists who who change the game. (laughs) We're badass. Yeah, no, really. I think that I mean Billie Holiday, you know, who who just like took her art form and turned it upside down. So did Leonard Bernstein, so did Nina Simone. And I think too, there's probably for me something about starting in one place and ending up in another. I think that my life as a musician is very much a journey that is guided by (laughs) what, like, like passion, curiosity, um, attention deficit (laughs) disorder. I don't know. I like to, I like to go where, where I'm curious. Right. And I think that all of these artists that you're mentioning did that. Um, and they, and they were brave. They were really brave and courageous. Billie Holiday, you know, strange fruit, Leonard Bernstein um, to you know to to try as many different things as he did and to push that envelope all the time. Nina Simone, whose life could have been, I mean, was in some ways very tragic, but who took opportunities that she was denied. You know, she wanted to be a classical pianist, and she wasn't able to do that, and so she forged her way into a different genre and then broke that wide open and did something you know completely her own. So I think that's probably the common thread. Game changers, rule breakers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those are the ones that everyone remembers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what is the next song you're going to play? One of our favorites. Yes. Um, this is from, from the thing that started it all for me, from West Side Story, um, the song Somewhere. And I think this too, right now, it just has such a deep, profound meaning, a place for us, somewhere that's where there's peace and quiet and togetherness. We'll find a new way of living. We'll find a way of forgiving, I think, is a really beautiful moment in the lyric that it's, it's timely at, at yeah. this you know, juncture that we're at. Yeah, somewhere. <laughs> and quiet and open air wait for us somewhere there's a time for us someday a time for us time together with time to spare time to learn, time to care, someday, somewhere, we'll find a new way of living, we'll find a way of forgiving, Some. and place for us Hold my hand and we're halfway there Hold my hand and I'll take you there Somehow
place for us, a time and place for us. Hold my hand and we're halfway there. Hold my hand and I'll take you there. Somehow. <laughs> Hold my hand. So great. Thank you. So tell us about the last song you're going to play. So this is a song of, by Bernstein from the show On the Town. And it's a song that's about friendship. And this album for me has become so much about friendship. It's, it's the music that's represented is about Bernstein and his friends. And then I have collaborators on this project like Theo, um, Tom Hampson, Rhiannon Giddens is on the album, Kevin Alusala, and, and it's been really a project that's about musical and creative collaborations. We're heading off on new, new collaborations, yeah. a new project, and, and this is where my, my joy comes from, I think, now with my music. And this song is about these three, um, these three sailors who have come together for one day in New York off of their, their ship. It's in the 1940s. And they have all these adventures, and they, you know, they try to see the whole city. They meet girls. They get into trouble. And um, Best movie. Gene Kelly and Frank Sinatra are in it's, it. It's, it's an amazing oh, <laughs> It's everything. It's everything. Uh, but the day comes to an end. They've got to get back on their ship. And so they sing this song about all the things that they've done and all the things they didn't get to do and how, you know, who knows where they're going off to, but we'll catch up some other time. So for me, this, is, this song comes at the end of my album. It's really about the music, and it's about all my friends who've come together on this album. And, you know, I know that in all of our musical adventures, we'll catch up some other time.
Thank you so much. So For Lenny is out this Friday, and everyone can see Laura Downs tonight at National Sawdust. And thank you, Laura and Theo, thank for you, being Theo. here. That thank was you for having us. us. Very fun. Thanks.